if you're having problems with your Xbox 360, <coughs> with it not wanting to open and it not playing the disc, if the disc won't spin. I've tried all the tricks. I watched the videos. Most people say it's this magnet right here that you see. It didn't work for me. So, throw that to the side. But <coughs> you will need some screwdrivers, small ones. I'm doing this with my camera phone, so it might not show it real good. But anyway, let's move on. And going inside your Xbox will void your warranty. So, you should note that, especially when the seal is broken. And also, this is the black Xbox the one that comes after the white one so you know which one you're working with okay I've already taken this apart I'm working with one hand so I'm trying to do the best I can I've already taken it apart so this is how you take the disk drive out just lift it out mine is already out well I'm take the top off also that magnet goes on the here too you pull that open you can see the magnet Matter of fact, let me see if I can put it up by that. Okay. Now, we inside. Can y'all see it? Let's see, tilt it up. See the man? <clears throat> and a, a lot of people say this part right here too where the magnets won't connect to it. But I had problems with mine when spinning, and sometimes the door gets stuck. Actually, I don't know if I fixed the door getting stuck, but I did get the disc back spinning. What you want to do is take this out. So just give me a minute here, see if I can prop this up. I don't know if I can or not. I'm just going to pull it out of here. No. Well, just hold on a minute. There's some plugs on the back that you have to unhook. <clears throat> As you can see, I'm right here. There's two plugs here that you have to unhook. This one, the white one, I just pull it out. Let me see it come out of there. This plug here. Then you got another one, <coughs> the black one. Once you take it out, <coughs> You can basically sit the rest of this Xbox to the side for a minute. And notice, I do still have my plugged up, but that's not safe. But I've been working with it for a minute, for like two days now, trying to see what's going on with it. And I finally did get it fixed. So, <clears throat> what you're going to need, uh, see what we got here. This is your laser right here. As you can see, it, it might be a little dark here. What we're going to do is a, a, a pot torch here. When the lens get weak, it can't read the disc sometimes. So what you're going to do is, I just turn mine around here. You got these two ports here. It's right here. So you can see you got one right here. You can see that you got one right here and one right here. This is for the uh, CD like music CDs and this is for the DVD player here. DVD player side, CD side. What you're going to do is get a voltmeter, which is a digital voltmeter. I have a flute right here. You're going to set it to ohms, which would be on this notch here. What you're going to look for, if it's higher than, let's see, 3, you can bring it down if it's higher than 3 kilo ohms. I will say on this port right here. And actually, I already fixed this one, but when I first started out, when I did my vote meter reading, you always need to do that first so you can see where you at, because you can't just really start adjusting it. Um, when I first did it, I was at uh, five, uh, five point something. It was like uh, five kilo ohms. So what I want to do is get it down to three. And you can't go no lower than three. And if your reading is lower than three, you might as well just replace the um, driver or your lens. I would say just replace the whole thing. But anyway, this is how you're going to check it. Gonna, it's, I don't know if you're going to even be able to see this, but because this phone sucks. But anyway, right on the side right here, you have two little notches on the side of this. One right here and one right here. And what you're going to do, you're going to touch the top one. 
I only, I'm working with one hand. You're going to touch the top one with the black one, or either or, but whichever way it is, we're trying to get it to go like this here. But you can touch one here, and then put your other one down like that. You see, I got two of them on there. You can't see it, but it needs to touch on the side, right? I, it's hard for me to do it. You need to touch them on the side of this right here, and then the other one right here. And once you do that, you'll look at your vote meter and see what it tell you. Actually, I didn't touch mine, so it's giving me the infinity reading. But you're going to touch them. Once you get your reading, what I did was, when I seen it was uh, five kilo ohms, what I did is get a little screwdriver like this one, like these right here, out of this little set right here. This is a... Uh, a uh, flat head. I, I guess you can use a flat head or a Phillip head. This is a little flat head here. I mean, this is a Phillip head. I think I used the Phillip. I don't know. I might use the flat head, I think. I think I did use the flat head. I don't know where it is right now. But what you're going to do is you're going to turn this counterclockwise. You're going to stick it in. Don't, don't touch this one now. Don't touch the one on the right. Only do the one on the left. Don't do the one on the right because that's for your CD. So we're trying to do with the game. So you're just sticking in this little middle part right here, right in here, and you turn it counterclockwise. That would be to the left. That would be this way over here. Turn it this way over here. <laughs> After you do that, you're trying to get it down to 3.05, um, no less. I would say about 3.05, something like that, 3,000 kilo ohms. Mine is auto. I really don't know how to work this thing right here, but... It was, it's automatic tells me and it was three point something when I did it. So after you do that, you get it set down to three. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my game back in here and show you guys that it does work. And I mean, I know this video is probably jacked up because I'm working with one hand. I could do it better if I had the two hands. But look at why back in here and here. Get it plugged in. It's the one hand bandit here. Sit it back in. You know, I don't even have to close it up to show you guys this, but I just want to set it back in here. What I'm going to do is I put a game in that I really didn't want when I first started to make sure it wasn't going to burn my disc because if you adjust the reading uh, too high, it'll burn your disc. If you adjust it below the three, it'll, um, it won't read the disc. So. Something like that, they said, when I was researching it. So this is a game I really didn't want, so I just stuck that in there. I'm not real, uh, the 06 is done. So then I'm just going to sit my magnet on top of here to hold it down. So what we're looking for now is the spin action because it wasn't spinning before. So what we're going to do is turn it on right here. Stick a little screwdriver in there. And we're going to see what it's going to do. Ah, oh, there she go. So that's all you got to do, guys, is adjust the laser on your CD drive. And the disc will start back spinning. Let's see if we eject and see what it does. Eject button right here. And she's opening it. See? Just adjust them on the back like that, kid. Just one of those. Always the one. On the left for the uh, for the DVD, adjust it, turn it counterclockwise, no lower than three, three kilo ohms. No lower than three, pop it back in. She should be good to go. You guys seen it for yourself. I know y'all getting tired of looking everywhere on YouTube for these videos with the disc not spinning so here it is just adjust that laser if the laser is not bad it should work if it's actually going weak but you still can get it to play until you you know get your funds up to get your new one uh oh that didn't work out so good <laughs> My bad, guys. I don't know what I was doing with that. I don't know if I had it on. I forgot that when I opened it, the drawer up with my magnet on, it kind of lifts up off there and throw it up so I didn't have it back on right. 
So let me just turn it off since I don't have the top on it. Let me turn it off and turn it back on and we'll do it again. Okay. That just happened a minute ago because I didn't have that on, on there right. And when it opened, when it opened, the laser goes down and this release. So, all right, because you have that little button on there. Well, what it does, watch watch how this releases when the laser goes down here when I open it. And you'll see what, what just happened there. Satellite, this part right here moves down and releases it because the magnet actually connects to this this magnet right here. See how it's um, so see how it's shaped? It's shaped to fit directly on top of that. So when I open it, it's free from there. So when I close the back, it was acting a little crazy there. But other than that, you got it, guys. Hopefully you can do it. If not, watch the video again. Also, watch a video on how to take it apart. I already had done that, but it's actually simple once you get the hang of it. And this is not a, I think, a bocce disc here. This is what my case looks like. So, yeah, I probably can't see that. Yeah, that's kind of blurry, but you guys get the picture, hopefully. So you guys fix it and get back to playing your game. Don't give up on the Xbox. I know everybody got them PlayStation 2s and 3s or whatever they call it. But I'm more of an Xbox fan. And I did it again. <laughs> All right, that's it. Comment, like the video, share it with your friends.